Hola, Samón, me después estoy en la charla. So uh, if you use the own, like, this is the own version of Chrome, because Chrome has uh, upgraded maybe two weeks ago, and Firefox also upgraded. So if you use the latest version of Firefox and Chrome, you will be safe. But uh, be careful with your mobile phone, because it, maybe you haven't upgraded your mobile phone. In uh, Android and Chrome on, on and like, Android browser and Chrome on, on iOS and uh, Android also support um, Speedy. So this is the demo against Twitter Speedy implementation. Um, so we will sign in to a rollaway account and we will show that um, this is not like connection is not compressed and this TOS 1.0 and so we switch to the proxy to we use the proxy to make it easier. We can just like using some kind of like transparent proxy and things like that. And uh, when you when you swap to some like non entity non HTTPS side, the, pro, uh, the the proxy will inject JavaScript inside the uh, the website. I can show the JavaScript. It's just a symbol. Uh, yeah, it take time to run, maybe three minutes, so we can spend some time to look at the code. So this is the JavaScript. You can see it just open the new image, create image, create speed image. I have to put different version because I want to save bandwidth. And just basically, okay, the target is twitter.com, and then we just create emails, a lot of emails to Twitter. So if you don't need JavaScript for that, right, you can use like meta refresh or maybe something else just to refresh and return a very big static custody email file with a lot of email type pointing to twitter.com. Let's go back to the video. So if you look carefully, it's maybe difficult to on the screen, but you look at the, the end of the the end of the screen, you will see some cookies. We read the cookies, so we found that Twitter is kind of weird that like they have two kind of cookie system. One is very long, and one is shorter. So we we, we target the shorter one, and the speedy attack is better because you can basically doesn't need to to read everything. You just need to target specific cookie that you want to go after. So you it finished the first cookie. The first cookie is TWID, and the second cookie is out underscore token. And uh, we will release this video, maybe, yeah. And you, when you look at the video, you will see that uh, the, the, the exploit, sometimes it choose the, correct, the incorrect bias. But when it choose the incorrect bias, it knows, and it's back up to choose something else again. So it takes a little, a little like more time to go forward to something, like the grip one by one, maybe it detects something wrong, it's go backward, and, but eventually it will get the home cookies. So when I record this video last night, it takes like three minutes, and because my, uh, one of the problems is my internet connection at the hotel is not very well, but not very good. So, it's got the cookie, and uh, I will use the cookie to sign in to Twitter. This is the, like, the incognito mod in Chrome. You see that uh, I will copy the cookie from tweet ID. And we will, maybe if we have enough time, we will do a live demo. It's maybe more interesting. <laughs>
you can go check out that account. <laughs> okay, so uh, the second part of the presentation will be more technical. Like we will discuss like 